that's it. There we go. All right. I had enough of the music. I I know you don't have the headphones on, but I cannot come in without something. Get it. I can't just sit down. And run. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome to the Scoundrel Studios. I'm gonna transition over so everyone can see who you are and what's going on. This is the first show of what is now the new show. Yes. The the the, the, the combined show because. The better it's show. better than Chucky, so <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm definitely probably a better fill-in. Got a little more input for you. Got both of my eyes. I mean, now he's sitting behind you all creepy. He's but pissed. He does look kind of pissed. Like He's giving me the fucking stink eye for sure. <laughs> if you don't know, when, when this, when I first, when yeah. all of this first started, I would, I would come in here <laughs> some days and I wanted to talk, and nobody else did, so I just used Chucky, and he worked with me for a while. Poor Chucky. Yeah, he worked with me on a few shows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's kind of bad for him. That's why he looks so traumatized and in the corner. Huh? Yeah, well, let's, first of all, you look beautiful. Thank you. So let me introduce you That'd probably properly. Be a good idea. You are Miss Chantilly Lace. That is correct. And you're fresh in from recording one of your one of your shows yes chantilly's kitchen hop yes yep i do that every uh almost said thursday every tuesday at four o'clock i do it live on instagram and facebook it's free i just love to share gluten-free vegan delicious recipes with people and have some fun and um i've gotten really good feedback for it through the years so yeah through the years you've been doing that for a long time now oh it's since shut down since you know the world stopped so god almost four years it'll be four years this may yeah wow i actually hadn't thought about that in a while yeah so, so. you've been putting out content on that for four years almost yeah Talking away. pretty much every week you know a little time off here and there just because of life or maybe you just couldn't figure out what to cook for the week because sometimes i mean a new recipe every week that's a lot if you think about it yeah and you because you... most people you eat the same I mean, if you're lucky, probably 10 things where, I mean, I look at you and it's the same five things. Yeah. Well, that's... I mean, we'll add it and maybe seven because there's like the once a month stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to. That. I yeah, I guess I only yes. eat three things, but it's for a little reason. better eat in some of my cooking. Yeah. But... I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to dial this thing back in. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this thing going good, so <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I feel like it's harder for women to get it back dialed in. Like you gotta have to keep it in lane, otherwise, like especially once you're like at a certain point, like you might not never get it back. So yeah, and it's so if you if those of you that don't know, we are. This is the tag team show. This is the together show. This is what it is probably mainly going to be a lot of the time. Is yes. is. Is you and I. It's Chantilly Lace and Scoundrel. Yes. Which, we just so, kept this name because this is the Scoundrel Studio. Yeah, it fits. Well, and that's originally why you always had the S on Scoundrel Studios was yeah, for yeah. partnerships with people and stuff like this. And um, Where, I mean, uh, come on. I'm like a published pinup model. Like, why shouldn't I do a podcast with yeah, you? Yeah, do it. Talk about the cool stuff we're up to, cool stuff around town. Like, I mean, we travel internationally, so cool stuff when we do that. Like, yeah, we're not boring people. We're not stuck at home. We don't have a lot of constraints that other people our age do. So, yeah, thank God. Well, the, <laughs> well, the kid we, thing. Yeah, we do have a 11 month old puppy who's suddenly deciding that he's a three month old puppy, but it's still like, it's not nearly what a lot of other people the, do. The, the, that the 80 pound roommate. That, that's what I've been calling him. The, the 80 pound roommate yeah today demonstrated exactly why i never, I never had i call him any the professional cock blocker <laughs> that too <laughs> you'd get the gold medal in that i feel I, like I, I i would not have done well at parenting i i today i like push me to my puppies mind. and dogs because you can put them in a crate where you know you'd get a phone call if you did that to a kid so yeah. And I know I'd be tempted to. So I agree. <laughs> Today it rained and, and it proved it all when I was younger babysitting. So Yeah. Yep. Babysitting did it for you? Oh yeah. 
I just knew. You were, a lot of kids loved it. It was an easy way to make money. No, I hated it. I didn't want to hang out with the kids. I didn't want anything to do with it. I didn't want to have to pick up after them. Everything about it was just awful. <laughs> Not your thing. Yeah, I remember my mom telling me the first time I went babysitting that I'd have to like do the dishes and pick up after them. And I was like, what? <laughs> that wasn't going to work out? No. No. I don't. I don't even know if I ever babysat anyone. That's probably I, a good thing. I don't think, like, I don't think I uh, did. Well, I, I, I mean, knowing some of your history and babysitter history, it's probably a good thing. Yeah, but... I, well, it's weird because I, I was pretty much left, a fucking left on loan. Well, that was our when, generation. Yeah. So. I don't, I, I mean, I know I had babysitters, of course, like everyone else, but. Yeah. I'm almost certain I well, and then at a certain point, parents know it's just pointless, so. Yeah. Or, like, I had my brother, even though he didn't, you know, care. Like, he never actually watched. Yeah, you grew up with siblings. I did not. Yeah. And I I can tell that I'm an only child a lot of the time. I can tell just how I yep. react to things. Yep. I'm a weird guy. I, I actually like, should I like that. remember that more than I do. Like, definitely. Yeah. I, I, I noticed that I'm, I like to be very orderly. Yeah. And, and eat. Well, and things. you don't like to put up with anybody's crap. Like, you have very short fuse. Or I think after, you know, having siblings, like, you just sometimes know you have to put up with people's shit. Like, I'm trying. Well, I'm trying to work on my patience. You no. Know, I mean, I feel like. Yeah. Sometimes you're better. <laughs> better than I was. <laughs> I throw it Yeah. Everybody's got something to work on. Yes, this is true. Patience is, is not one. perfect life would be boring, right? Yeah, I mean, patience is not one of my virtues. It's not a lot of people's virtue. No, so. no. So, let's talk about what else you got. Yeah. Because you've got a lot of... Uh, well, we got a lot going on. Yeah. I have a lot going on. Like you, You've been published. We've been published together. Yeah, we actually had you? our very first one last yeah. year. Well, the, the first so we've we both tried. been published separately. Yeah. Yeah, and then finally, I don't know, like, we're like, whoa, duh, like, we should probably try to do this together, and it was our first one we even tried, and we got in. Um, it was a summer, like, tiki swimsuit issue, which was super cool. I know you got all wet. Luckily, it wasn't as dangerous as the one in Australia. There was no chance of sharks. Yeah. Yeah, that was, they both were fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We did, I shot one and we did, we did a, a photo, we tried a photo shoot in Australia that, in which I ended up in the ocean and nearly eaten by something very fucking big from the, yeah. from what it looked like. It, it was either a shark or a crocodile. They called me telling you yeah. to, you better get your butt out of the water yeah. as quickly as possible. Most likely. Yeah. Most likely. Calm about it. It's most like I just know I didn't dangle my feet over any rocks in the water anymore after that. Yeah. I was like, nope, ain't no. That was a little scary. Some little Vienna sausages tempting you hanging out. No, no, we'll just make sure we're. Yeah, that was a little sketchy. But other than that, that was the only like it wasn't even scary. It was just for you. Don't be stupid. It scared the shit out of me. I was the one that had to get out of the water. But we were told that that was a spot that there could be sharks. So after the fact. <laughs> It was, it, I swear we knew it before. No, it no, was okay. after. Well, we did know, and but we saw the crocodile already. Yeah, we saw. Yeah, the the, the croc. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah. yeah. And then went to, so, a, and then at the at the very fucking end of the of that whole trip, we went to that crocodile exhibit where they. That was the second time we went back. And it scared the shit out of us. Yeah, so that was even the yeah. second time. Yeah. That sound they make. Yeah, that's gonna shit out of me. If I would have known <laughs> if I would have known that before all of that shit. In the life that they're water. slow on land and they can't run and all this like shit. bullshit Let's or like fast. run diagonal, the dude was even like, You run straight and you run as fast as possible because they are actually pretty fast on land. These fucking things are fast as hell. Yeah. And they're so yeah, yeah no. Uh, so what and then you just you just got published again, right? Not I mean, you got since yeah, since all you got yeah, yeah you got like, one. I totally had a brain fart for a second. Yeah, I got published in Chrome Plated Dolls, uh, their Christmas edition. Right on. I completely. I was like, "What are you talking about?" And what was the one that we were in? Was was uh, that one? No, it wasn't that one. Um, because I can't remember. It. I, I know I'm, I'm the camp. I can't pull it. It was a pinup culture. Pinup culture. Pinup culture. Pinup culture. Yeah. God, you like. 
sprung that on me and I'm All right, got... okay. no, like okay no it's cool i should know that like um yeah it was pinup culture Whoa. which that one was super remember i was squealing when we found that one out I yes was i was on the phone excited. with my dad from plated dolls i was really excited about that one too yeah you were on the phone with your dad <laughs> Yeah, because it was kind of when you sl slip stuff in on like the deadline, you never know because they might already have their favorites picked. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. Especially with all the new stuff I got going on, so all the publications help for promoting that. Yeah. So what else you got going on? So I took <laughs> over. I <laughs> guess we should lead into that. Go ahead. Um, I'm the new pinup pageant hostess this year for the 13th annual Arizona Rockabilly Bash. Yeah. Yeah. So what all does that entail? It entails a lot. But um, I first just want to say, so I've been going to this show since the second year that I actually, they ever had it because I didn't hear about it the first year down in Tucson. And it's been amazing to watch it grow. And to be asked to be a part of it was just so special for me because I love Rachel and Mark and I love what they do and the family oriented that that they have with everything. So it's right now is Barrett Jackson in, yeah. in in Phoenix. Yeah, oh, and yeah. it's not. So this we're blessed. Yeah, we did we're that blessed, one time. We're, but... we're blessed to be here with all. The, if you like cars, this is this is the city to be in. But, well, in the state, really. Yeah. I mean, especially, except up north, because I mean, we don't have a lot of problems with the rust and all of that, because we don't salt. Yeah, and if you, so, but but there's <laughs> there's different types of car shows. Big. Difference. Yeah, so Barrett Jackson is going on right now, which is in a, in a land called Scottsdale. Yeah, and it's that it's somewhere over there. From from where I'm it's sitting, a, it's that way. Yeah, it, it's it's over there. I know that you can get to it from here, but we don't <laughs> travel works. there. Yeah, it's not it, for us. It's a very <laughs> when I get there, I I feel like I don't know where I am because we don't. It's a yeah. whole other world, yeah, really. I, you feel like you have left planet Earth and you are now in Scottsdale. Yeah, and then so so then I'm not trying to totally shit on Barrett Jackson, but it's a different. Do you need to turn that off? No. Oh, okay. I'll turn it off a little bit, but if, um, if we're we're doing a... I mean, I know it, it, that too. Like it's grown because uh, when I used to work at the Fifty Steiner, one of my regulars in the morning, he actually helped set up the bleachers for the very first one. Yeah. So I mean, it was interesting talking to him and listening to you know it used to be out pretty much in a parking lot or I think it was even a school parking lot or something weird like that and like he set up and brought in all the bleachers with his business and. But it's a very it's a very different type of atmosphere there very. than than what they put on at the bash. The bash people drive their cars. Uh, they we do burnouts. They do burnouts. There's even a burnout competition, which to tell people, uh, I believe Lalo is now five years king. So somebody's got to beat him eventually. So I'm just saying it is lucky 13 this year. So maybe, you know, maybe it's still his year. Maybe it's the year he finally gets beat, but that's always really cool to watch. You have a really cool video. From I have a video. So if, when we do our next show, we'll bring, I'll, I'll make sure to bring that video in. Cause I, I thought that thing was cool and that was him winning it. I think like the second year. He yeah. Won and then, I mean, you have another cool one from hot rod, rock and rumble. I mean, there's just something super cool about burnouts and yeah. people driving their old cars, like, and using them for what they're for and not being afraid of it. I know it's not, I can't remember how long, but there's even drag races that they have going on. So you get to, you know, see it's pretty much first to second gear, but you still get to see who's the fastest off the line, which so they have who doesn't want to get to do that in a safe environment and shit and have people watching. They have all the cars, like all the cool cars, like all the old well, last cars. year. So last year we had over a um, over a thousand registered um, classic cars um, and even some classic like motorcycles pre it's uh, pre 72. Right. Um, then they think there was at least a hundred vintage like campers and trailers, plus like the RV camping and all the other stuff going on. So I mean, it's it's a lot. That's a lot of cars. Yeah, it's a ton. Yeah. It, it is. It's cool stuff. Well, because especially I mean, even I, I know I went to car shows back in the day that had like fifty, and I thought that was big, and I was impressed. So. When you get to see a thousand cars or more, and honestly, I'm assuming it's probably going to be double this year, just from what 
I've heard and been seeing and how much promoting we've been doing uh, out of state, in state. Um, because it's how I don't know another one that's it's not going on yet that's going to be going on soon is Good Guys. So yep. Good Guys used to be the spot everybody wanted to go. It was super fun. You used to be able to go in with your coolers. You could grill by your cars. They had um, the swap meet on. I think it was just Sundays, maybe Saturdays and Sundays. But I remember there was the swap meet. But it was just a big party. Everybody used to you know you paid your sixty bucks to get in, but it was worth it to be there all day. Well now. There's none of that. Like, you can't bring anything in. You have to pay the, what is it, 15 bucks for a beer, 10 bucks for a water, what, whatever ridiculousness. And you don't get the camaraderie because half the fun of walking around at Good Guys was people would just be like, hey, come have a brat. Come have, like, a, you know, some sauce. Have a jello shot. And um, even, you know, cruising around the aisles and right. all that cool stuff. And uh, so they banned that, God, at least five years ago, if not longer. Because I remember just like. I know the last good guys i went to they weren't doing it yeah and that was i think the first year or whatever second year at least 2016 i feel like 17 i don't remember but i mean i know they stopped and it was like well it just takes away the fun of it it's it's the the cool thing about the bash is just be cool and you can on grill a, by your car yeah, you can you bring pretty in much get away with yeah get away with stuff also the idea is you you know you get to bring in some of that stuff and you're staying for the two days for camping and overnight stuff you're probably going to run out but you're also you know not spending that crazy ridiculous amount on stuff so you're going to go shop with our like oh god i think we have over 200 vendors yeah they have plenty of food vendors too yeah oh god yeah, yeah lots so, of I mean, food vendors like, can't I mean, get, and there when i was up there went before it was it was like reasonable yeah and there's alcohol uh, so yeah, i mean yeah, even if you run out, out they're they're serving yeah. alcohol like, yeah so so <laughs> so it's it's a it's all the cool old cars and then two days to camp around there if you want to you can you can buy the, the pass you can buy different levels right you, you can just get in you can buy camping. yeah you can um the so there's the the rv camping spots i think all the vintage trailer spots are gone already those usually kind of go first so for 2025 remember that you guys are going to want to get in there quick and then there all- is right outside of the event there's also like at lake pleasant rv spots too so i mean it's just a tiny walk Right. There's, and there's so there's really that option. Space. If you have a car in the car show, this is the first year for, um, I don't remember the fee. I think it's like 20 bucks. You can camp right next to your, your car this year. Like tent camp. Yeah, like tent camp. So right it would be totally cool. And then um, from the marina, I think for like 10 bucks, you can get a shower pass. So there you go. You don't have to have an RV and something cool. And it's March here, you know, so, yeah, so the weather's really nice. I think last year it was like 76. It was it felt perfect, but remember, I came home with like that crazy sunburn. Yeah, so. yeah. everything. Some of the well, I think the lake and then up the sunshine and being in March. You just well, and it, it's just perfect weather, so you don't put on the sunscreen, and it's the first time, especially for Arizonans, you probably like are finally like not wearing long sleeves because yeah. we die under seventy degrees. <laughs> it gets, I think it's chilly. But yeah. So there's also that option too, which makes it nice if if you bring your kids and stuff, and they just need a break, you can go down to the lake and. You know, go hang out on the shore, go in the lake, or rent boats. So, and a lot of people on Sunday just stay the day and hang out, like do some yeah, hang out in the lake. You know? Yeah, <laughs> try to nurse the hangover. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it definitely. A, it's a party because you know Saturday's fine because you just do the hair of the dog. <laughs> it's Sunday's what's gonna get you because eventually you have to go home. <laughs> and so, do you know the band lineup by heart? I should. I think I can rattle it off. So we got the Coffin Cats, Deke Deekerson, and the Whippersnappers. We have the Reckless Ones, the Centuries, Six Silver Bullets, De Villains. Crank Daddies. Crank Daddies. I was like, who am I forgetting? And it's like my, one of my favorite bands. So Yeah, I wouldn't let you forget. And thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Still no, Mark doesn't really like to admit that we're the whole reason that they even got that band because, uh, what was it? Uh, Hacksaw's radio show. We yeah, were on, yeah. We turned and he on. challenged me to bring in my best psychobilly song. Yeah, we turned him on to them. Yeah, that worked out well. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure we, I uh, picked Jesus Built My Hot Rod. I think so. Pretty sure that's what I. Picked. No. No. No, because that's a ministry song. Jesus Built My Hot Rod is a ministry song. Jesus, you use me, maybe. 
There was... No. Because I know I just looked it up not that long ago with Martha. Oh, maybe they have one. Yeah. Maybe... No, I'm like, got... no. Yeah. Well, no. Don't, don't quote me. I'm Look, <laughs> I don't. I know enough, but I sometimes I've heard long enough to know that yeah, I'm up. usually right. Yeah, it, it probably would. It probably was. I just, yeah. Right. For some reason, my head went to ministry. Turn this off just real quick. Oh, yeah. Turn it off. We're just, we're just doing a little simulcast with the, with the Instagram on, on Chantilly Lace's side. Now you get, oh. I transitioned to show my giant head and then forgot to move it over. Yep. So now you're back, and then we can just oh. go back to the show. Yeah, so there you go. Back to the regular show. Giant head. You just got to see my giant head for a second. So they have the they have good food vending. They have a burnout competition. That's fucking cool. I. It's that awesome. video. Yeah. That video was. We'll have to pop it in this. Yeah, yeah for sure. It. Yeah, the next one we'll bring it in. I, I just didn't. I didn't know it was going to come up. Pop it in this one. Uh, I can't. Oh, well, yeah, I can. Yeah, you can. I can. Which it'll be uh, By the power of editing, I could. I can do that. You can. So somewhere in here, maybe yeah. maybe right now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> maybe I didn't put it in. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> See? <laughs> so the burnout competition, camping, drag races. food. They have drag races. They have the car show itself. Yeah. Car they show. have... The vend like vendor row, which is set up with fucking carpet that looks like a highway. It's fucking cool. It's like it's a racetrack. It's, it's a yeah. It's, it's really racetrack carpet. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. When you see it, if you ha if you don't know, it's cool. You, it's when you get there, cool. you're, gonna go, whole, like, you're gonna get there and go, wow, what yeah. the fuck? How? Yeah, they, they were right. It's like yeah. it's like <laughs> you a fall the asphalt. Yeah, it's like you just go down the road. You just go down the road. Hey, we'll just go down the yeah. road and check out the. Yeah, I mean, we have some. Um, I can't. I can't even remember the list right now but i have seen some really awesome ones signing on so i know i mean there's something for everybody and for then sure. they also have when i saw when i i didn't get to attend last year i had to do something else but i did you were I, in I, california photo no you weren't Cal you no, had because i dropped you off and picked you had a photography thing i remember yeah. that but i did see like big giant inflatable shit yep so they have i'm assuming they have areas that are set up for the kids and probably pretty yeah. cool Kids are free. I believe it's ten and under. Ten, yeah. all the details you can find on their website yeah. too. Rockabilly Bash, a a z rockabilly bat dot bash dot com. And they, then we have something cool that we're working on for the bash too. Yeah, but, but, well, let's get to what well, let's, well, let's get to that part, and then we'll go on to what you're handling. The, oh the, yeah, the, the nuts I mean, let's and talk about it. our stuff first, and then okay. We'll... So. Go for it. You're going to announce I, it? I guess. Okay. So um, this year, Scoundrel Studios is helping me host um, the Basha's first ever VIP lounge. It's going to be the Inferno Room. And I know even though we're calling it a VIP lounge this year, it's for everybody that's attending because everybody attending is VIP. So pretty much you just have to find our big giant sign that's going to say Inferno Room. We're going to have some super cool stuff going on in there. I have a special guest that's going to be making an appearance on Saturday. And I have her dressing up and doing some cool stuff. So she's going to be there to get pictures with and maybe even some autographs. So you're definitely not going to want to miss that. There'll be all kinds of just, there'll be all kinds of stuff going on. Yeah. At different times of the day. It'll, it's it, just one of those, just stop by, swing by, say hi. It's also, what's really neat about it, it's it, it's going to be attached to the dollhouse, which is the pinup lounge. So you can watch the girls get ready and do, you know, all their, like, girly, cutesy stuff. Maybe get some photos with them, too. Uh, maybe not. Maybe just, you know, be creepy and spy on them. But that's fine, too, because we're going to have a hairstylist in there. So you can watch them get ready and just, it's kind of fun to watch pinups. So you get to see, like, a and, behind the scenes. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Point. Like, they do have their own dressing area and stuff, but, like, you get to see where they're going to be hanging out and, you know, kind of just the interactions. And, like I said, get some pictures with them because that's what they're there for. I saw – I I had to go to the Bash website to so I could at least have an idea of what was on the website to, to talk about. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and 
see if I could screen grab anything or if there's anything worth it for me to oh, grab. Tons but of stuff. There's a, yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot. Much. There's enough on there. But I did go to the pinup side, and I know that it looks like they have at least three of the thirteen finalists that are, are, are listed up there right now. That, that I don't. I think they're getting loaded up or whatever. Yeah, because they have all officially been announced um, on Facebook and Instagram and been notified. But, you know, website stuff always takes longer. And the three I saw were... Are pretty hot. Yeah. Right? That, yeah. Good. Our judges yeah. did pretty good. So we're going to have 13 hotties. And what's really neat this year, this is the first year that we're going to have people's choice. So you actually get to vote for your favorite pinup. That so cool. not only do you want to come hang out in the VIP lounge in the Inferno room, but that's a perfect spot to spy on and see who your favorite pinup is. So, and we're going to have a cool raffle prize for everybody that does vote for their favorite girl. So oh. she gets her own crown and sash and goodie bag. So, and then, cause yeah. honestly the first pinup I ever won was right. people's choice. Uh, uh, the first one I ever won. All right. Yeah. So, and I just think there's something like super cool about it. And if you vote, if you turn your ticket in to vote or whatever, then you get entered into the raffle to win something. Yep. Smart. Yep. Smart. So, I mean, it's a so win win. Yeah. Both. yeah and then, it, you know, it makes the girls, they got, they got a smooze, got a talk, get some photos with them, go in, you know, that's what they're there for. And that, and so and that, then, those two joint, those two will be a combined area. Of sorts. Yeah, well, of sorts. They're going to be obviously very separate because of the, you know, Inferno Room and the Dollhouse. But yeah, well, um, if I got anything. But we got, you know, some super cool sponsors going on for both of those, which is amazing the amount and the type of sponsors that, you know, I've been able to get this year. So our like big main sponsor for the Inferno Room is uh, Armor Canine. Yeah. And I'll let you talk about them a little bit. Oh, well. I feel like. You know, we'll, with with our eighty pound roommate. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the eighty pound roommate. He went up there. He met. He's been. We have. If you don't, we have a a Belgian Malinois. If you don't know what that is, it's a fucking John Wick dog, basically. There's some. I think some other movies out there about it's the Olympic athletic dog. <laughs> it's. Jesus. They're the ones you see like running up trees twenty feet and Yeah. 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 There are the and, and so the one that currently lives here and pays no rent's eleven months old and he's like eighty pounds. He he went up there to get trained up. And what he did what the dog that we have is, is amazing. Even though I bust his balls, he's he's fucking amazing. And where he learned it was up there. I, I mean, there's not, there's no bullshit. Well, because they do training, obedience, yeah. protection work. He went through a what the uh, what they considered their board and train program. So, w away from the house for three weeks, he went. But you have to say, Daddy was very miserable by the last week. Yeah, it was a little, well, well. Oh, how many times a day did you say I miss my job? Uh, maybe twice. Oh, oh definitely. Maybe okay. twice. Maybe. So he went. <laughs> he real. went up there for three weeks, just a four-month-old, untrained spaz, and came back a, a, a fucking people-eating machine, basically. I mean, there's no other way around it. At 11 months old, he's a people-eating machine that that listens. What did um? Uh, he what he did say that's, that's, that's a whole, whole dog. dog. Yeah. That's what she said. Yep. Yeah, he's a whole dog. He... But what I mean by listen is, I don't, I'm not, I, I can't stand when I, when I see people going down the fucking sidewalk and their dog is basically taking them on a walk. It looks so fucking ridiculous. Are they pulling and yeah. you see him doing this all the time? Or that guy that walks around the neighborhood with the stick. Yeah. yeah we, we have, I honestly we, want to swerve a lot. We, we have a guy that walks around. I, I ran into him years ago. When he had two dogs, and I and I would catch him cracking those dogs with his stick. He was a fucking weirdo. Fuck that guy. We have a guy that walks around our neighborhood at, at, at weird hours of the morning, and he's he's got a dog, and he beats it basically with a stick. And and you see him around the rest of the other times. With it. He's he's one of those old guys that wears those fucking visors with the hair that sticks up still. That guy. Yep. I can't. 
No, no one clued him in on that. That gig's over. That haircut. It, shit. It's, some people just like Rod Stewart. You just keep what works for you. <laughs> forever haircut. Rod Stewart's forever haircut. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> not to. <laughs> so the dog goes away. You don't have to worry about it. You go back. You meet up with him, and your dog is like some shit you see on TV. And then there he is moving around a little. <laughs> the whole, you know, sit, stay, all that is, is, is yeah, like kind of baby steps. Uh, that dog, you have to have a dog like this under control. You have to. It, otherwise, yeah. your life's Stop. miserable. Yeah, they're... Yeah. It, and they're going to be um, actually bending there, too, so you can stop by, see them, see some, maybe some demonstrations. Yeah, there'll, there'll be demonstrations. You can talk with Lee. You can get an understanding of what he can deliver. I I don't know how to emphasize enough, like, how the product that we got back was was finished. Well, even what we've seen with your dad's dog. Yeah. Oh, well, my dad's, tried, yeah, my dad's dog went there, they too. They tried quite a few different Yeah, they went there. spent a lot of money and... They went to a, through a, something's finally working. Yeah, they went through a few, and they d- didn't get any results. And <laughs> set that dog up to Lee. And it's it turned that thing around. Yeah. I mean, they they did a they did a good job. Like, that dog, you know, that dog was over. Things, you know, he'll he'll get you so far and, and keep you going, but you just have to do the work. But yeah. that's you know, with anything in life, like yeah. You know. But it, it if he's there putting on demonstrations, the, yeah, that'll that be some, fucking cool. Yeah, there'll be some cool stuff. Yeah, so. You'll definitely make sure um, to stop by the booth and say hi. Tell him we sent you, and see what he's got going on. Just even meet the dogs, like yeah, they're and pretty you, cool. And yeah, you can meet the dogs. Too. Like it, I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to. You just have, you know, follow the protocol that yeah. be a good human being. Yeah, I don't mean like go in there <laughs> like a, you know. Is 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 the bash a dog friendly event? Do you know? I don't remember ever seeing dogs. Actually, I, I think so. It may I be. I feel like last year I remember seeing because I, I don't know. I don't I, know. I didn't feel like I, I don't know why I insist on putting you on the spot with these questions. You don't know the answer. No, that's actually a good one. I feel like it is honestly. The website would tell us. Maybe. The website would tell curious people as well. Yeah, there's always the email, but I feel like they would be. But I would actually have to find out. Like I don't. Part of me doesn't see why not. Just you know, general rules. Pick up the poop. <laughs> Especially like somebody steps in it, somebody's not gonna be happy. So, yeah, just saying. All right, so back to the so let's talk about your pinup pageant the yes. itself. All right, so we know that Armor K Nine is gonna sponsor the Inferno Room or and the Dollhouse. That's what's going on there, correct? Yeah, actually, well, Armor K Nine's. Just sponsor in the Inferno room. The Im- just, just yeah. the Inferno. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So he's our, our main sponsor for yeah. that. I mean, definitely still looking for sponsors. If anybody is interested, we're doing some great promo for our sponsors. I mean, we're obviously talking about it on the podcast, on um, flyers when we go to the local shows. Like we're just on every, the social media, website. the website. But I mean, just tons of stuff. So you know, if you're interested, just. You know, drop a message and we'll definitely get back to you. But all the platforms, yeah. I mean, I've gotten a lot of big ones. Um, I have you, your yours are listed up here on, on your flyer. Oh, it? awesome! Yeah. yeah. So the those that are watching can can take a look at who you have. So and I don't want to put you on the spot, or, but if you can, if you want to name off a couple or if there's any, well, I know uh, they, Morbid yeah. Mystique is uh, one of my bigger ones for the pinup pageant, and she's actually. Um, really nice gal. Her name is, is Alexis, and she owns, um, obviously, Morbid Mystique, but it's a glam goth shop. So it's just a shop of, like, super cool oddities and inns. I mean, there's, like, dead animal parts. Taxidermy, sort of. Plus taxidermy, plus actually just dead animal parts. There was, like, cool bone art. There's clothing. There's artwork. There's candles. There's body stuff. You got me some snow from there. Yeah, I did. And I got my mom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she probably won't be listening to this. I was going to say some for Christmas, but (laughs) we haven't seen them yet for Christmas. (laughs) You know, it's almost February. Um, 
So that's a really cool one. And they're actually just down the street from us. They're like, and they have over 40 local artists in there. So that's a neat one because not only getting the shop, but really like you kind of get those 40 local artists as well too, because yeah. that's what the people, you know, the girls get to go buy with their gift certificates or the goodies that are in their bags. So you yeah. know, that's a cool one. Um, Splendette, she's actually out of the UK. I was really excited about that one because she even sponsors the uh, Viva Las Vegas right. pinup pageant. So that was a really exciting one for me. What does she, what, what's that about? Oh, what you're wearing. I have one of her very cool vintage retro style. Here, hang um, on, let me, let me put your full oh. screen. Yeah, so we can <laughs> let's, let's hook her up to the... So she makes some really cool... Uh, there you go. Now I... Uh, retro jewelry. It's like the, the old carved big light fashion stuff. Um, So she makes some really gorgeous colors. A lot of it's very limited, so she just had some really cool uh, Valentine's designs that are up, and they only usually last for about two weeks. So Show the other ones up again. Cause... These are the vintage yeah. ones, actually. Yeah. So these are my vintage big lights. Oh. And then... That okay, yeah. I'm sorry. So, I mean, see how well they go together, they do, well, yeah, yeah, okay. And besides bangles, she does you know, other earrings and um, necklaces, brooches, just really nice gal, honestly. Um, I have so, a few out of Australia, yeah. Hey, Polly, she does some really cool um, acrylic laser cut um, earrings, just honestly pretty badass like they're for any style girl doesn't have to be pinup rockabilly could be goth could be the glam girl the barbie core girls like they're just super cool um so we got her she sent a box for all the girls uh, another one out of australia is los flamingo uh, i can't wait to see what she's sending uh I actually found out through some of my lives and stuff that uh, Phoenix actually holds a special place in their heart. So that was really neat to find out that they actually have a connection here. Oh, right on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So actually a few international, a few national, a um, few local. A lot of them actually aren't. So a lot of bigger ones. That, That's cool. Yeah. I was and so I my butt off. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give the girls what I never got when I was doing pinup pageants huh? really good so yeah. i feel like i'm doing that it, and plus more like it looks like it. i want to give them a like cool it. spot to hang out because honestly i did pageants sometimes that there was no shade there was no water there was nothing like <laughs> just even to go maybe get drinks was like a 20 minute walk and you'd die pretty much and then you're like well shit i like just missed my time i was supposed to be back there because it wouldn't even give you enough time really to right. try to go get anything to drink or eat or oh. you know god forbid you had to pee yeah well sometimes you gotta go <laughs> yeah sometimes you do so <laughs> well that's a that's a good reason to do it i think so yeah huh. like make every you know even if you don't win the girls can all walk away feeling like they got something really special out of it I'm just they're, they're, look like i'm jealous about some of the stuff i've been getting them honestly like <laughs> dang like i know i the attitude was you know get what i didn't get to have but dang yeah yeah well i i know that hey there's there looks like the competition is going to be stiff so far what so, I, uh, normally we do 12 but since it's lucky 13 we actually decided to do 13 girls this year i know seems super Here, fitting here's what we'll, here's what we're doing next show Okay. Next show. Okay. Ready? I, I, I have some buttons over here to make fucking sounds, but I don't want to hit the right one because I know one's like laughter. <laughs> okay. So next show. Here's what's up. Good. Here's what's up. We'll bring the burnout video in, right? Because we promised that. Yeah. And watch, we'll bring up, let's show the little, let's show the audience the 13 finals. We should. A picture of the 13 finals and their names. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Yeah, and then I get to I get to make my pick. <laughs> I won't. I don't get to make my pick. Luckily, you're not voting. Well, I guess you can vote. You can pick. I can do whatever yeah, I want. You can pick for your people's choice. Yeah, that's right. I judged once. Yeah, you did in a bad suit, and you had yeah. a bad joke on stage that I'm pretty sure, like, I think I was the only one that laughed. No, there was somebody else in the crowd. Oh, oh, the uh, Craig Rustbolt laughed. Oh, the, that's right. The photographer. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And he laughed from fucking way yeah. in the back. And yeah. That, <laughs> that was, it, it that was, was tasteless. So quiet. <laughs> it, was, it was truly a tasteless joke. I said uh, the, maybe one of the it's more. It's a awesome joke. I know. No, it's a great joke. It was just one of the more horrific jokes to say to a 
crowd of fucking 80 year olds <laughs> that's not generally how it's from six to 80 I think yeah but that I, but pretty much it was the when i looked you up, did it at like 11 in the morning yeah that's what i'm saying i looked upon the crowd and it was many octogenarians but that joke would have been meant more for like late night four or five well even late night yeah even past noon when you know people have at least started drinking yeah yeah that it it so. was a, that was a tough one but, but i hey, hate fuck it i didn't care i thought it was yeah, a funny joke it's still a funny, funny joke it's still a great goddamn joke. It's like, I get sidetracked. Sorry. I was just thinking about something. I know I was looking down for a second. I was... Totally, I was Distractable, Chris. Yeah, well, that's part of how... First, I didn't compliment you enough on how amazing you look. Thank you. You, you do this every time. Every time you pull this off. And, and I get where I start... My mind starts going off in other places, so they distractible, distractible. But I, but it, it went in other places, but not well. Where you think, but not where you think. Yeah, because <laughs> it got me thinking about the, that the inferno room thing again. I want to, one last thing about the inferno room that I know that I want I wanted to bring up because I think it's cool. Yeah, which is we we have a photo shoot that we're doing. And then we're also doing it with the special guest. And then those photos will be in the lounge. Correct? Yes. Yes. And you will be signing those? Yes. Yeah. And so will the special guests? Yeah. Yes. So, so you get them autographed. Yes. Might even be some posters, some cool garage art, you know. Yeah. See, I like that's what I was thinking about. And my mind started, okay, now I got to, this is going to be cool. Well, yeah, that's the whole point of, you know, Scoundrel Studio hosting it. So, <laughs> some cool art in there. Yeah, I have, I, have, other... I have pieces picked out. Yeah. Yeah. I, some... well, we're going to make it, it's going to, I mean, it's not going to be quite as crazy as the compound studio, but I mean. Well, maybe. I mean, I've told you a few of my ideas of, you know, <laughs> what we're building and making for it. And it's just going to be fun and you know i want to spot everybody can just come hang out for a little bit and like yeah meet some girls and like hang out get out of the sun and i i'm looking forward to to, to what it looks like and what, how it me too when it all comes together I'm yeah like, see all the people coming yeah out. i mean i got a lot of cool stuff in the works so. yeah that'd be awesome so that, that'll be fun for me. i'm excited for that photo shoot too so it's <laughs> always fun when we, we do one and then you know, we'll get some good product out of that. So you definitely gonna want to stop by the Inferno room just to see what we did. Yeah, yeah, it'll be cool. Yeah. I, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to that a lot. So, real quick, just at as we wrap this up, at, and now we're about like maybe about an hour ish. That's a good show. Probably. But yeah, but but before we leave, I want to tell you because we have a mutual friend. I have a mutual friend, your friend too. He just Super made the cover of the Wall Street Journal. Oh, really? Yeah. Who's that? Salva. Really? Yeah, yeah. And it's Boars back there. You know, you know this. Yeah. Oh, it's Boars over there. Yeah. And over yeah. there, and yeah. So is there something else in here that's <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah. So I want to. It goes back to all the conversations I had when I was young. That skateboarding was gonna get people nowhere. You're all losers, right? Yeah, guys on the cover of the Wall Street Journal. That's Journal. crazy. Yeah, especially after you watch that like video, um, the movie documentary. Yeah, kind of thing. You know, just, it's nuts. Just like yeah. empty. How how pools and yeah, the, it's crazy. Good for him. That's super cool. Yeah, it's like this. It's, and then isn't there? Isn't there something you're gonna be going to in just like two weeks for him? Yeah, it well, it's I have it up on the screen now. That so he the I'll his be roommate band sitting. I'm guessing. Huh? I'll be roommate sitting. Maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> you might have to. So his band Power Flex Five is playing. He's having a birthday show, and it's over in California. Well, of course. Like. Yeah, and I went to the last. I think it's in the same spot that the last one was in. Wasn't he just surfing during like those crazy waves and stuff when all that was going on? Oh yeah, and they were like, people need to evacuate the beach and this and that. Yeah, and he. I know. I think he was going out. I, yeah, I feel yeah. like 
it was like that crazy day on the news where they're like, they've been telling Californians not to go to the beach. And then you looked at me and were like, Sal was out there <laughs> surfing. I, I like, had a conversation with him where, where I almost sort of quasi got invited to go surfing with him. I don't want to surf, but. Yeah, I feel like he told you that. Yeah, but I, I want, like, in fact, yeah. that, that would be a, that'd be a cool dream. Cool to use if band, you to They're a cool band. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. fucking fun. They are fucking yeah. fun. Yeah, and then maybe eventually we'll get them booked at the bash. Ooh, yeah. Which would be cool, and then maybe we could have something cool like maybe he'd do like a skateboard thing. Maybe, you never know. He's all ties he's in because you know the whole joke is rock is rock is where punks go to retire and die. So <laughs> <laughs> that ties in with a lot of different genres for punk, you know. Yeah, but yeah. So it's uh, Saturday the tenth. It's a high bro. It's February the eighth. Uh, Saturday. Tenth. Okay, I don't know why I have eight. February tenth, eight to twelve. Oh, that's why. Yeah, okay. maybe eight to twelve. Because even I was like, I looked at the date. I'm like, that's Thursday. That's weird. Yeah, no, I said the high bro. It's in California in Upland. Well, it's far enough away from Valentine's Day. You can go. Yeah, yeah. If you have, check them out. Um, on, they have they have their stuff on on Spotify. Listen to some, and then you played me yeah. the um. Why am I not you? Just think oh. else. I was like, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'd play it. I would play it on here, but I know that there's like so many weird rules about what's yeah. allowed, what's not. Yeah. And so you so, should check them out. They're yeah, good. just go find them. Powerflex 5. It's fun. I, I don't it says, you go to his birthday bash. And it says, and guess. But if you're into, if you're into, like, if you're into skateboarding, you're in the old punk stuff, or you. You know a little bit about something. You're gonna probably want to see this show. Yeah, it'd just be. It'll be good. It's also sometimes just cool to step out of your box, go to something different, even if something you still like as a cat. I mean, the fact it's Salba and he's in a band. Like, yeah, you should see him warming up. He's all stretching. He's he's like, <laughs> it's fucking wild, man. It is wild. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a hard thing to do. Yeah, I think I wonder. I think a lot of my passion for like. The pinup tiki stuff came from some of his early board design. Probably. And the early ads he did. Because I look back at like some of the art, the movies, I'm like, yeah. it makes sense. Besides like looking at the photos of like my grandmother and watching the old, old movies, like definitely a lot of our childhood generation, like, yeah, they definitely kick back to a lot of the, the pinup, the 50s style and stuff. We're going to, that's something we'll get, to, we'll talk about in the future is how you, how and why you you do what you do because you don't just do it on the weekends you do it for real yeah and and like this is no joke this is what you did i love yeah it's my you know every we all have passions and things we like and tend towards and this is mine like i really could give you know two shits about like having the newest coach bag or stuff like that that the typical karens and you know all the vanilla girls wear like you know i'd rather yeah, I'd rather wear grandma's shit. Like she had some good style back in the day. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll save some of that for for, for later because that's a that we can get into that. That's um, a that fun discussion. Yeah, we could even have a guest in to you know talk about some of that too. Maybe who yeah. knows? Uh, yeah, I'm not opposed to that. That's why you should keep watching. We're definitely you know planning on having some cool local guest artists, musicians, yeah. street artists. Got a couple like, who have said yes. Okay. Yeah, radio people. And we got what? one that's just, I don't even know what to say she is because she does everything. Oh, well, yeah. But you're, you're, I know. We got some cool, you gave that cool up. stuff planned out for There's the an thing. inside. Yeah. There's an insider. If you know, if you just paid attention to that, you'll know it. You, you just got in some inside information. Yeah. Yeah. You would know. You got some people that said yes. And if you paid attention, you got some inside information. Till then, that's it for us. She's Chantilly Lace. Um, Scoundrel Studio. This is the Scoundrel Studio show. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked it, subscribe or whatever. Like, tell up somebody, do whatever YouTube things. I don't know what. Yeah, people come back to the bash for sure. Contact us, something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Our Instagram. To make sure you see us again. Yeah, our, uh, down below is our Instagram stuff. Whatever you can hit us there. I feel like and, doing the Ron Burgundy sign out. Like, stay sexy, San Diego. Ooh, not really. They're yeah. fucking underwater. Yeah, because it's steak classy. Yeah, they're underwater right now. I know. All right, we're out. See ya. Bye, guys. <laughs>